1985, my uncle, uh, Jimmy, was murdered uh, by home intruders and was shot to death by his own handgun. And then 10 years later, my mother, his sister, was murdered by my father uh, with a shotgun. I have a son who's actually been shot a couple of times, and I have a nephew who was killed. His name is Pierre-Paul Jean-Paul. He was killed on November 11, 2008 in Cambria Heights, Queens. I had a best friend who I grew up with, a childhood friend, who was gunned down and, and killed. I lost my son of 23 years old back in 1992. I lost my dad at the age of seven due to gun violence. In 1996, I became a victim of gun violence. I was mugged and then shot. We were robbed. Um, we were both shot and Philip was killed. I got a phone call from one of my brothers who said that my oldest brother, Greg, had been shot um, at his business that morning. He left a wife and two children. Families who lose their loved ones, we don't heal. If you lose them as a result of violence, you don't heal. It was devastating. I, I lost a dear friend. Um, the community lost an amazing teacher. It's like a, a stone dropping in a pond. You know, you have the initial impact on the person who was shot or injured, their immediate family, and then it ripples out to the communities, towns, cities, states, and then the nation. We do need to work on gun laws to help reduce violence and to reduce uh, criminal access to guns. I'm very proud to be a New Yorker in a state where our governor um, took very uh, courageous and decisive action along with the state legislature. What Governor Cuomo has done for New York State is incredible. So we are, we are encouraging our legislators all over the country to do what New York has done and, and, and make, make our community safer. It's, it's time.